Yes. What if everyone said it just a little more? Would the world be a better place? A nicer place? At MU Health, we're certain of one thing, that yes makes the world a healthier place. Yes is the strength to fight doubt, the fuel to find cures, and the unbreakable resolve to keep pushing further. At Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, yes isn't just changing lives, it's saving them. Radio friends, on Wednesday, August the 24th, this entire segment today is dealing with young people. I want to start first of all with Charlotte Jimenez. Welcome to Radio Friends, Good Charlotte. Morning, Mr. And you are here from the language tree. And before we came on the air, she was telling me about her three year old daughter. Three years old, and she's fluent in three languages. Yes, that's right. French, Spanish, and English. Mm hmm. <laughs> we have a particular situation in our family. I'm from France and my husband is from Central America, so it really yeah. helps. And, and she attended a year in that preschool and uh, it really uh, all came together. Yeah. The, the language tree is a preschool, but you had a special title for it. So it's an immersion preschool and we will offer instruction for little ones starting age two in Spanish and French. So they have... Um, given the fact that they're very little, yeah. um, they do have a time for instruction from nine to 12, and then the rest of the day is guided play. Um, and our instructors, teachers, and helpers speak um, those two languages to the children, Spanish and French. So at two years old, they're learning to speak a foreign language. That's right. So they're not going to speak to you right away or, or meet a French person and be able to have a conversation that, right. that, at that age. But um, it's really all about brain development. It's just giving them all that flexibility about the pronunciation system, grammatical structures that they hear in different languages that kind of expand their awareness and knowledge um, that will build blocks for later on. Yeah. Do you find that your daughter slips from one language to the next when she's at home? Um, she generally knows who she's talking to and what they're capable of speaking or not. Every once in a while, whatever words come first, We'll um, get in there and a little Spanish word, we'll get into an English sentence, but for the most part, she knows which one is which. All right, so for people listening to us or watching, why should they consider the language tree or an organization like this for their child? So that school is amazing. It's a really small nurturing environment. Um, the teachers, not only do they teach the children in those two languages, but they're doing an amazing work in terms of socialization, um, teaching the children how to share, sit in the classroom together, um, accomplish tasks together, um, and then listening to adults and following directions from other than mom, dad, grandma. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a really amazing job at it, teaching them a routine. Um, so the children, after a couple of weeks, know exactly what to expect. They always keep the same routine. It keeps the children um, feel safer. They know what's going to happen. Um, they're more calm. They're ready for the instruction. Um, so they're, they're doing an amazing and, job. And as they grow up, as they grow up, they are also, I would imagine, more accepting of the whole world. That's right. So um, the school focuses on, on teaching the language part, the culture part, and then academics in there, learning the letters yeah. and numbers like any other preschool would. And um, one thing that they're particular in that school is that every head teacher is a native speaker. So you really have that firsthand quality language yeah. uh, provided to the children. People want information. How do they... Uh um, so we have a uh, website, mm -hmm. uh, Language Tree Immersion, and Facebook uh, under the same name. And I just wanted to mention, mention October 7th is Having a fundraiser. trivia night fundraiser. Um, and we would love for people to come uh, check the classrooms. Uh, we give tours and show okay. a little bit of what we do. All right. And they can get all of that on Facebook or the web page. Correct. Okay. Thank you so Thank much, you. Charlotte Jimenez, for coming by. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, we're going to turn to another expert over here, Beth Watson, who is with uh, Stevens College. Yeah. And you are a, a, a classroom teacher and instructor. And we're here also 
to talk about very young people that you're dealing with, yes, right? Yes, yes. We have been in the community for 91 years. We just celebrated our 90th birthday last year. Um, so we have three-year-olds all the way to fifth grade, and it's a multi-age classroom. So actually mm -hmm. our elementary is kindergarten through fifth grade all in one classroom together. Um, we have highly qualified, certified so, so teachers. So elementary through? Fifth grade. Yeah. Kindergarten through fifth grade. Kindergarten through fifth grade, all in one yes. classroom yes. together. Yes. Now, what's the advantage of that? It, there are so many advantages. I have my own children there, um, a kindergarten and a first grader this year. Um, the advantages are that you have the older students have to be mentors to those younger ones. The younger ones get to look up to those older ones. They get to have modeling done daily next to them. They're writing next to them. Also, they're grouped by ability versus age. So if you have a gifted child, they can move up you know, with the older kids, if you have a child that needs a little bit more support, so you can move them around. Um, and teachers are constantly changing the groups and assessing them so that each week they might be in a different group. Really? Mm -hmm. How many How many kids all together? So we have um, about almost 90 children, through yeah. preschool through fifth grade. So 40 in the elementary and about, about 40. Around. So the That's advantages it. here, I was, I was, we were talking to Charlotte about the advantages yes. of the language tree, the advantage of what you're doing. The Tell advantage me. of what we are doing. So we are a laboratory school. Our whole purpose of being is to teach pre-service teachers. So we have our master level teachers, but then every day you have college students in there learning from the students, from our children. Um, and so the teachers are there to mentor the college students and also the children. So the children know that they're there to teach the college students. So the kids them. are there to learn, but the kids are also mm -hmm. teachers. Yes. yes. And so how do they, they love respond that to role. that? They love seeing new people come in their classroom. Um, you know, they always have fresh new ideas for the kids. So so they really enjoy that time and do with the them. kids do the kids have fresh new ideas for uh, oh, yes. the college yes. students? Yes, they keep them on their toes. So they get that experience freshman year in college. Right so you there feel in the it, it is a win-win situation. Yes, for I both. went through the program and now I teach in the program. So oh, you went through the program? Too. Yes, I went to Stevens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, before we started here, I said, "Oh my." We, we, we have two schools on together. She said, oh my, don't worry about that because there's enough kids in <laughs> Columbia, we yeah. can't even take care of all of them. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know that we exist. And, and many people didn't know the language yeah, tree exists. exactly. All right, so how do they get in touch with you uh, if they want more information or they want to enroll? Um, you can go to the Stevens College website um, and look for the children's school at Stevens College. Okay, and, and what are you gonna see what are you going to see on that website? Can you actually enroll yes, there? there's application on there, all of our information, our handbook, any information that you want to know. Okay, so everything you need to know will be on that website. Yep. Just go to www.stevenscollege.edu. Oh, uh, edu. edu. Stevenscollege.edu. Yes. Lady, thank you, Beth. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. You, you were great. And Charlotte, thank you for thank coming you. by. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to find out more about Woodhaven Learning Center. They've been around part of our community for a long time. If there is something that you would like to hear or see on Radio Friends, I'd love to hear from you. Just drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. And if you're going to be out and about, be nice to each other and think of those kids that can speak three different languages at three years old. Bye-bye.